Hello, my name is Dr. Thomas Burke, and I am the Medical Director of NeuroHealth, and I present to you a short little uh, video all about all the different kinds of headache subtypes and classifications. So a little bit about me. Uh, I am a neurologist and a headache specialist in New York City. Uh, I graduated the NYU Grossman School of Medicine in 2010. I completed my residency at NYU Langone, completed a fellowship in headache medicine at the Jefferson Headache Center, and since then have come back to become an assistant professor at NYU, the associate uh, director of the Headache Fellowship, and now the medical director of NeuroHealth. So why are headaches so unique to begin with? One of the things that you have to realize is that just about everybody experiences headache at some point in their life. We say about 99% of people, and that's probably because there are definitely some doubters that are still out there. Um, headaches, especially migraine headaches, can be debilitating. 18% of women, 6% of men experience migraine. And migraine can be severe, migraine can be debilitating, migraine can affect people, especially in their most productive years. There are important red flags regarding headaches. Sometimes headaches can be harbingers that there is something very, very serious going on. They can also sometimes be relatively mundane and be a part of somebody's life on an almost daily basis. So that's why headaches among all other human conditions are pretty unique. Now to understand headaches, you have to understand that there are many different kinds of headaches. We say there are over 120 different headache diagnoses and the truth is there's a big debate over how many different subtypes you'll count as their own different headache diagnoses. That being said, rest assured that there are dozens, hundreds, uh, of, of choices of different headache disorders. And how do you differentiate all the different kinds of headaches? Well, you have to understand that some are mundane. Uh, for instance, there's something called a cold stimulus headache, otherwise known as brain freeze. There's something called external torsion headache, which is wearing a ponytail or a man bun a little bit too tight. There are some headaches that are extremely rare. There's something that's called a sunct or suna has a long name, stands for short-lasting unilateral neuralgia form headache attacks with conjunctival injection and tearing, or with SUNA, it stands for autonomic features. These things are very scientific, they're very specific, they're very unique, and they're very rare. And importantly, there are what we call primary and secondary headache disorders. And we will go into exactly what that means, a primary headache disorder and a secondary headache disorder. So if you look at the classification of headache disorders, the first thing that you realize is that there are some headaches that are called primary headaches, which means that the main problem with the headache, the main issue causing the headache is the headache itself. For instance, the reason why somebody experiences migraine is not because there's a brain tumor or an aneurysm or some other problem with their brain that causes migraine, it's that they have migraine and that's a problem in and of itself. Some of the other very common primary headache disorders are headaches called tension type headaches. Those are the very run of the mill kinds of headaches that uh, you might experience on a daily basis uh, or, or that people just happen to experience here and there. There are also headaches called the trigeminal autonomic cephalalgias. These are one-sided headaches that have uh, features that are what we call autonomic. That means non-pain uh, symptoms like tearing or your eyelid becoming very droopy or your nose running on one side or your ear feeling full all on that same side. Cluster headache is probably the most famous of all of these. And there are a small group of quote, unquote, other primary headache disorders, where the only problem is the headache itself. And this is the first group of headaches that are in the headache classification. Part two of the headache classification are what we call secondary headache disorders. That means that something is causing that headache. 
So what could those causes be? Sometimes it's trauma. Sometimes it's a problem with blood vessels, what we call vascular disorders. You can have a non-vascular intracranial disorder, such as a brain tumor, some benign and some malignant. Some substances, like medications even, can cause headaches. Sometimes the withdrawal of that medication can cause a headache. And an infection of the central nervous system can certainly be associated with a headache, something like a meningitis or encephalitis. And then the last part of the headache classification are what we call painful cranial neuropathies. These mean basically facial pain disorders or other more superficial sometimes, sometimes actually not superficial, but problems with nerves that are not necessarily related directly to the brain and the brainstem itself, like most of the primary headache disorders. But these are related to somewhat more downstream nerve issues. Uh, famously, there's a facial pain disorder that's called trigeminal neuralgia. It typically affects the upper or lower jaw and can be stabbing in nature. There's a rare throat pain disorder called glossopharyngeal neuralgia. There is a not that uncommon headache disorder at the back of the head that's related to um, nerve issues, specifically at the occiput, which is the, the back of the head close to the base of the skull. And that's in general how we start to imagine the different kinds of headache disorders. This is how we group them. So just to summarize, we have primary and secondary headache disorders. Primary headache disorders are where the problem is the headache itself. The main primary headache disorders are going to be migraine, cluster headache, and tension type headache. There are a wide variety of, quote, other primary headache disorders, 10 specifically. And we actually have a really nice blog post that go through some of these other primary headache disorders. Secondary headache disorders are where the problem is something else that leads to the headache itself. Sometimes these can be things like brain tumors or other intracranial masses, aneurysms, which are vascular abnormalities, infections like meningitis or encephalitis, and sometimes even significant problems with the neck, such as disc herniations or nerve root compressions that can actually lead to really severe headaches themselves. So, do you have questions? We are happy to help you. Um, and, you know, as it says over here, this is what we do. We treat headaches day in and day out. If you have questions about your headaches, if you have questions about how to best to treat them, you can definitely have a video visit with myself or another one of our neurologists and headache specialists. And we try to get you in right away. We take an individualized approach to each patient. Our recommendations are typically customized with treatment plans based exactly on your specific situation. Each neurohealth doctor is specialized in diagnosing and treating all types of headaches. And even if you think that you've exhausted all options or you think that you've seen everybody that could be seen, I do think that we have a lot to add. And I think that we can really help you. And we certainly are eager to help. So definitely reach out to us. Thanks so much and have a great day.